Hello, back again with another video. Today's video is going to be on ancestral spirits and marriage and dating. Basically, you want to take this into consideration. You want to be, it's like you want to take this into consideration because when you are dating or getting into like relation with another person's family, you have to keep in mind that each individual comes from a family a line of spirits basically we can say bloodlines to a degree you know a line of spirit each family has their own spirits that walk with them you can say ancestors whatsoever deceased relatives whatsoever that walk with them so each family has their own spirits their ancestral lines of spirits so when these two people connect you have uh what you call families coming together spiritually you know so you know when we're talking about you know uh, tribal lineages and stuff like that they understood where we can go back to Africa where certain people were, could not intermingle with other people because it was like a tribal thing which basically you could say that applies today even in the Old Testament part of the Bible you find that Jehovah tells the children of Israel not to basically you know married marry into this family why because you know it's you know this whole this tribal thing that exists in spirit you know because different people they carry different spirits. Different families carry certain spirits. And sometimes they are not harmonious. You know, so let's just say this. You have a couple that clash. Their families clash. Now they bring a child into the world. Now this child is in the midst of this chaos and confusion. You know, so in between this, not only are they battling, are families battling, but you have spirits battling. So you have one spirit, the spirit of one family pulling the child in one direction and the spirit of another child's family pulling the child in another direction. So what you have is a battle going on here when the families are not harmoniously connected itself, you know. So when it comes down to dating and marriage, you want to be careful with who you basically or what family you marry into, you know, because if the families are not harmonious in the beginning, you're definitely going to have conflict down the line and the child's going to basically come up as a, you know, come up as a dysfunctional and confused child, you know. So it becomes very important, you know, when you are dating and marrying to follow, you know, to follow, uh, your, 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 you know, what you see, you know, or just pay close attention to what you see. Because if the family's not right, if you enter into a situation and you automatically, you know, find out that the family that you're, you know, the person that you're seeing, their family is not accepting or accepting towards you or your family, then you may want to take a step back and consider about what you're about to get into, you know. But other than that, I conclude this video. Um, definitely, I might shoot another video. So stay tuned. Um, and I got to go. Peace out. Like and subscribe.